What's going on guys, Football Recaps here, and today I am back with yet another Killer and Panthers video, right after the Denzel Mims video. And so, uh, free agent Kenyon Drake is a running back who was recently with the Las Vegas Raiders, and honestly, for the Carolina Panthers, they should consider signing Kenyon Drake. I know they just recently signed Deontay Foreman, but Chuba Hubbard, I am sorry. I just watched Chuba Hubbard drop three straight passes from Baker Mayfield this past, or th just recently with the uh, the last preseason game. Baker Mayfield went off. Uh, I, get, I know it's preseason, but he had 93 yards for two touchdowns. A really nice pass uh, from Shai Smith, but Chuba Hubbard... I don't know what's his problem. I don't think he's all that great. A lot of Panther fans don't like him either. Um, so uh, signing Kenyon Drake, honestly, would not be a bad pickup because he's a lot more experienced than Chuba Hubbard. I think he's honestly better than Chuba Hubbard. Uh, in most cases, he is better than Chuba Hubbard. And uh, so, um, But yeah, it says, like, should Saints consider signing Kenyon Drake? Or um, will the Las Vegas Raiders regret releasing Kenyon Drake? I mean, uh, yeah, they have Josh Jacobs as well, but, like, still. All right, so let's go through his stats. I mean, for, for his stats, he's not a bad running back. He's more of, like, a, a running back number two type of player. But with Miami, he wasn't that bad. He averaged about, like, four four or five touchdowns or just four touchdowns. And, of course, his best year, I think he got traded that year. Uh, he had eight touchdowns with 800 yards. And, of course, he went to Arizona. He had eight touchdowns with Arizona. I don't know why he went to Miami. Or he went back to Miami? Huh, that's weird. And, of course, he did really well with Arizona, which I don't know why he left Arizona. He had almost 1,000 yards with 10 touchdowns, of course. And then this year, he didn't really do so well uh, with 254 yards, probably because with Josh Jacobs as well, uh, and two touchdowns. So, and then the um, the Raiders released him. And his PFF grade, honestly, is pretty good for a backup running back, and that's why the Panthers should consider signing him and maybe – uh, using Chuba Hubbard as a trade package to get Denzel Mims alongside with Terrence Marshall, which is kind of insane to even think about. Um, so, yeah, his overall grade is a 73.1. I don't even know why I even mentioned, like, that type of package. I like, just send Chuba Hubbard to the Jets for Denzel Mims, and then the Panthers can sign Keenan Drake and uh, and keep Terrence Marshall. Uh, so it has 73 overall for a backup running back, has 63 carries, had 254 yards, two touchdowns, and, of course, averaged about four yards per attempt. For receiving-wise, he uh, had 36 targets, uh, 30 receptions, uh, and, of course, 291 receiving yards and one touchdown. So obviously, he is 20 times better than Chuba Hubbard. So maybe you can send Chuba Hubbard for Denzel Mims in a trade package and, of course, sign Kenny Drake. Who knows? I'm just saying stupid things because it's YouTube. <laughs> so, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this, um, this potential target for the Carolina Panthers as a running back. A wide, a running back two or three, uh, of course, because Chuba is not that good in my opinion. He he's small. He like he just doesn't know where he's going when he's running, and uh, that's just my opinion. And uh, signing Kenny Drake would not be a bad idea. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Should the Carolina Panthers consider signing uh, Kenny Drake? And uh, that'd be pretty cool to see him on Panthers uh, team alongside with Baker Mayfield, Deontay Foreman, Christian McCaffrey, and uh, yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Again, like I said earlier, and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep pounding. Have a great day. Peace out.